Mirio Togeda, also known as Lemillion, is a hero to a fault. Even at the young age of 18, he's one of the brightest heroes My Hero Academia has to offer. He embodies the essence of heroism, replicating All Might in which through whatever he does, he meets it with a smile and overcomes whatever stands before him, despite the cost. His quirk permeation allows him to pass through anything, and while he's phasing through something and solidifies his body, he is shot out at an extremely high speed. The power is impenetrable and extremely deadly to many, and many view this power as a gift, but hardly anybody knows that this gift was not always a blessing, but instead a curse. During his quirk's activation, he is unable to see, hear, or breathe, a startling and horrifying drawback. His quirk was inherited through his father, and when Muria was a young kid, his quirk began to develop. Due to the obvious drawbacks of using his quirk, Muria's father told him that this quirk permeation, if used incorrectly, could be fatal, and tried to steer his son away from being a hero. This didn't scare Mirio, however. Instead, he wanted to be a hero, and not just any hero. Instead, a hero that saves millions. This is where he got his hero named Lemillion. Mirio, while attending school, struggled with his quirk for an extremely long time and failed over and over again. The difficulty of his quirk was immense, but he never got discouraged. Instead, he kept pushing forward with a smile on his face. Eventually, under the training of Sir Night Eye, All Might's previous sidekick, he not only developed his quirk permeation, but mastered it, becoming part of the Big Three of UA. In fact, Muriel, while not even breaking a sweat, was able to take on all of Class 1A minus Bakugo all at the same time. Due to his mastery of his quirk, he's essentially untouchable, and which is why I believe the author of My Hero Academia, Horikoshi, had to nerf him. His ability was not only a direct hard counter to the quirk of villain Chisuki, which we'll get into later, but also the head of the League of Villains, Shigaraki. Season 4 of the anime is where Lemillion truly shows why he is the pride of UA. During the raid on the Yakuza headquarters in which they're trying to rescue a little girl named Eri, whom Lemillion and Midoriya were unable to save before, they are met by countless villains trying to stop them from making progress towards Eri or the leader of the Yakuza, Kai Chisuki. Despite these roadblocks towards saving Eri, Muriel leaves these henchmen to the other heroes and uses his quirk to pass through walls and to find Eri to save her. He holds himself responsible for his negligence in allowing Chisuki to hold on to Eri in their previous encounter, and promises to himself that he will never let her down again, and that he will be the one to bring a smile to her dark abusive world. He eventually catches up and is the first to arrive to Chisuki, and several of his members of the Eight Bullets of the Hasaikai who begin to fight with Mirio. In his fight versus Shin Nomoto and Deidoro Sasaki, Sasaki's quirk messes with Lemillion's equilibrium and throws him off balance and makes him feel intoxicated. Despite this abrupt change which would drastically affect his quirk, Lemillion uses his move Phantom Menace, which he permeates through the wall and repels himself at an extremely high speed and takes both of them out in a single hit. Lemillion wasn't greatly impacted by this attack which affects his senses and disorients him because he has spent his entire life developing a power which robs him of these senses. After one-shotting both of Shin and Sasaki, he now goes for Chisuki, whose villain name is Overhaul, and the last of his men, Chronostasis. In one swoop, he lands a hit on Chisuki, and with utter mastery of his quirk, kicks towards Eri's head and while doing so, phases his leg to avoid hitting her, but still being able to hit Chronostasis. In just a moment, he has shown that he can simultaneously fight, rescue, and defend. He is a master of his quirk. His previous burden is now truly a gift. The fight goes on and Chisuki unleashes his ability manipulating the ground into spikes, and under any other circumstance these spikes would have killed other heroes. However, Mirio was able to use his ability to phase through these spikes and still keep Eri safe. Mirio during his fight keeps the upper hand and admits that although Chisuki is strong, he is in fact stronger. As the fight continues and Mirio keeps his advantage, Chronostasis is able to observe Mirio and begins to understand something. In a fight, they have no chance of winning if they're targeting him. They've been shooting bullets at Lemillion that on impact destroy someone's quirk and rob them of their power, but he simply phases through them and dodges them. Fighting against Mirio, the embodiment of heroism, is helpless unless they make a choice to make him choose between his values and his own life. Instead of aiming at Mirio, Chronostasis fires his quirk destroying bullet at Aerie because they know the only way he will get hit is if he chooses to. Lemillion, without ever considering his life, what he's trained for, or the quirk that he loves, jumps in front of the bullet in order to protect Aerie, in order to preserve her life and to one day make sure that she can be happy. All in this instant, Lemillion has lost his quirk, his permeation. Chisuki and Chronostasis believe that they have now won, because what good is a man without his quirk in a fight? They seem to misunderstand something though. 
The quirk isn't what makes Mirio the hero that he is. The drive, ambition, and heart of the individual makes the hero. Chisuke, while boasting that Lamillion has been reduced to nothing without his quirk, reminds him and Chronostasis in one of my favorite quotes in which he says, None of what I've done is a waste. I am still Lamillion. Mirio Togata, Yue's brightest star, continues to fight the overwhelming villain Chisuke while being quirkless and holds his own despite the utter destructive power of Chisuke's quirk. Quirk or not, Lamillion is still a hero. He holds up Chisuke for five whole minutes while waiting for the other heroes to arrive, a feat that a powerful hero couldn't have done with or without a quirk. Holding him off buys enough time for help to arrive and for Chisuke to eventually be defeated. Lamillion, despite in this fight losing his quirk and his master, still keeps his smile and now watches over and takes care of Aerie. Lamillion succeeded in his goal. He brought light and hope to Aerie's dark world. Lamillion, the pride of UA, is a hero with or without his quirk, and I truly hope that one day Aerie with her ability is able to bring back his quirk. I had so much fun making this video, and Lamillion is absolutely one of my favorite characters in My Hero Academia. If you have any more suggestions on what video I should do next, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content. Thanks for watching.